We're so glad you're with us today. <laughs> Many of us have bookshelves or even built-in bookcases in our homes. But sometimes it's just hard to figure out what to put on them, what not to put on them, how to decorate. Liz Toombs is owner of Polka Dots and Rosebuds Interiors, and she's here with some ideas on how to style up yours. Thanks for coming. Yes, thanks for having Glad me. Glad to have you here. You have transformed our bookcases here. Well, it was great, yeah. What do you need to do? What do you keep in mind? Well, so first things first, there really are no rules. So we're just going to kind of talk general concepts and, and things because everyone has different items, different shelves, that type of thing. But for this kind of niche situation, um, I focused on doing just a few smaller items, or I'm sorry, mid-range sized items as opposed mm -hmm. to many tiny things. You know, the tendency is to put a whole lot of tchotchkes and things on clutters it up, it makes it feel small. If you go with slightly larger sized items, like this picture frame is um, an eight by 10 with a five by seven photo in it, as opposed to a tiny three by six, um, it just, it looks a whole lot better. But think of things like your books. So they store your, they store your books. You can do candles photo frames, little mementos that mean something to you. Those are the types of things that you want to display on your shelves as well as your tabletops. So you kind of prioritize so that uh, the, it really is things that uh, should be there. I mean, it, the old uh, whatnot shelf is probably not uh, such a good idea. Right, right. You need yeah. to clear some of that out. A yeah. few of those things still being around are good, but you want to edit it so it's not overwhelming. You know, you have to think you still need to dust that. You don't want to have to dust mm -hmm. around many tiny things. Yes, um, that's true. But yes, but think of, you know, important family mementos, books that you've read. Not all your books need to be out there. Right. And don't be afraid to kind of play around with it. You'll see it on these, I flipped them around so the spine isn't showing. It's actually the pages. So it gives a little bit of visual interest there. Well, and once you have it, it's not set in stone. No, no. Do you do, do you make changes seasonally or just when you kind of feel like it? Mostly when I feel like it, but I will say a big trigger is when the holiday decor comes down, then that's kind of the time that you clear it out. You know, winter, you've been staring at it all the time. So in the spring, you want to change it as well. Some people prefer get it set and leave it as is. But if you want to be adventurous, don't hesitate to mix it up every season. Uh, what about uh, considering how well lit an area is? I mean, if, if it, if, say if you have spotlights or something on something then do you have to have a little more care about what you put on in there well I think the main focus is to offer contrast your shelves were white um, so I tried to bring in some things of color um, and with black to contrast that if this had been a dark shelf I would have focused on doing lighter colored items and so you just want to make sure that it stands out you don't want to put on a black shelf a black item that's just gonna get swallowed up in the darkness you'll never even notice it and certainly much more important when they're items that really mean something. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, you always want to have those things of importance or just things that make you happy, even if they're not important, but just like things that. that interest you. <laughs> things that make you happy. Yes, That's a great yes. way of putting it. Do you still do a blog where people can kind of uh, catch up on uh, Yes, what we do. Up? We yeah. post it weekly. And so as we've talked about a past, uh, the past couple times, we'd love to get questions from folks on our Facebook page, or our Instagram account, and we, we start to answer those in video form and on the blog. And that again Wonderful. is the... The blog is liztombs.blogspot.com, but you can find us on Facebook at Polka Dots and Rosebuds Interiors and Instagram as well. All right. Thanks Always so great much. To see you. Thanks. Nice to see Thank you all. You. I'll go declutter and a shelf or two. Be happy with what you have in your <laughs> home. I love it. Yes. Thanks.